Today on First Cup, we're not going to use intro music video stuff because everything I put up keeps getting flagged for copyright. Even the stuff that's not copyrighted. So I'm just going to talk to you for 30 seconds and you're just going to deal with it. Three, two, one. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today is Friday. It is April 20, what are we, 1st, 2022? Friday! There we go. My name is Jeremy. This is my first cup. I'm back home. <sighs> Everything feels right with the world, other than I screwed up making coffee this morning somehow. There are grounds in the top of the French press. It's the 22nd. Thanks, Ray. It's Dennis, did someone say fry? Hey, good morning to Dennis and Stacy and Ray and all the rest of you, whether you're watching live later or listening. Thanks for coming by. How was your Thursday? Apparently it's Earth Day. Happy birthday. Earth Day? Happy day to the Earth? I don't know. How do I say that? Happy Earth Day to Earth? Oh, and good morning to Jenny and Toby and Josh and Nathan. Well, look at all these people coming in. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, what did I do yesterday? So yesterday, I thought I was going to be dog sitting for like part of the morning. Didn't realize I was dog sitting all day. And I should have because they were very clear in their messages. I went back and looked and no, nope, I just completely misunderstood and forgot. But hung out, watched TV, went for walks. Had a couple meetings online and a phone call. Had a meeting last night. Went out to dinner with a friend. It was a good day. Really good day. A little groggy this morning. It's been, you know, a few nights of being out later than normal. But then again, when you when you typically go to bed, you know, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Pretty much every time you go out, you're going to be out late. That's okay. Um, I'm going to sneeze. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Good morning, Frank and Brian. Wow, look at everybody here. Lovely people here. Super cool. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. So this weekend, I will be in New Hampshire for Carried Out Symposium. Looking forward to that. Have a photo shoot later today. Not much later. It's late morning. Soon, I've, I've got a call with a incoming team member which i'm super excited about and once we get through that i'll be on the road so as soon as we're done here i gotta do a couple things like i gotta shave for the shoot like you can see i, I cut my hair i did what i could yesterday but I wanted to be clean shaven first thing this morning uh throw some clothes together i grab most of the stuff i need for the weekend and um yeah oh you know we launched was it last week I mentioned the the new product, the five dollar swag pack. We dropped it in the newsletter yesterday. I I tried something. I said, let's just send out one thing in the newsletter, make it super duper simple, and see if people react. And they did. And I have so many packs to put together that are not happening today. I'll put them together on Monday. But um, a dozen. We sold like a dozen of them yesterday, which is fun. So I dig that. which means five people, five, six people, six people are going to receive coupons for $5 off. So they get their money back and the other five are going to get more than $5 because that's the fun part of it. Yeah. Good morning, Mark, Andy. Oh, look at all these people here. Super cool. I won't be driving the Jeep today because the idea of burning 17 miles a gallon, you guys. Um, every vehicle I've ever owned has gotten better mileage. All of them. My forerunners got better mileage. It's silly, but it's okay. It's a Jeep. Uh, that and, you know, the big knobby tires on the highway, just doing highway miles down to Manchester. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take the wrap. But I will tell you, one of my favorite things about the Jeep, um, you know those big black and yellow totes you get in Costco? 
They're like eight bucks, nine bucks. I don't know if you've seen these. If you don't go to Costco, maybe you don't know. But they're like the best storage totes ever. When when I go anywhere, I've usually got a couple of those loaded up. I can fit them next to each other in a few minutes. That may not seem like a big deal to you, but to me it is because it makes loading easy and it means I can probably get eight of them in this car, which means if I ever, I don't know, if I was to ever do a whistle kick event again, would have more than enough room. It's built like a box. You can stack boxes in it. Very convenient. Nice, Toby. I hope you enjoy that. Have a good day. Uh, so I know, let's see, who's in here? Some of you, I believe, will be there this weekend. Uh, maybe just one of you who's here now, maybe two. Um, so let me know, what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing fun? Are you doing something fun? Are you training? Are you traveling? Are you working outside? Are you working? Are you sleeping in? Are you spending time with friends? I remembered something I wanted to tell you. So yesterday, I'm in the bathroom, and I think I'm brushing my teeth. This was during like my quick trip trip home because I had to run home and take care of a couple things. Because remember, I thought I was done earlier in the day than I was. Whoops. Uh, but I ran home and I'm brushing my teeth and I hear like a really light knocking. I'm like, that knocking doesn't make sense. If it was that light, how would I hear it? How could I hear a knocking from my doors when I'm not really near them? And so I'm like, what? So I turn around and there's a crow on the grapevines outside my bedroom window tapping on the glass at me. It's like, what are you doing? He flew away. That's it. It was funny in the moment. Maybe it's not funny as a story. Yeah, look, look at all, look at all these people supporting each other in the chat. It's, you know, I'll bring the entertainment and the topics, but. You guys supporting each other, like that's that's just the best. That's something I really can't do in the same way. And it means a great deal to me that you do that, that you care about each other in that way. So, um, oh, uh, one other thing, and I'll tell you more as we, we get more. So I've, I've been open that I'm trying to find a space for a martial arts school. And I posted on, we have something called Front Porch Forum. I know in other parts of the country they call fr uh, front door and there are a number of things like this, you know, these kind of community uh, group email sort of things. And so I put a posting on there. I was like, this is what I'm looking for. I've gotten a single response from a, from the owners of a converted or a, I guess like a, an updated barn that they use for weddings without heat. Now, I don't think that this is going to be the right space, but I'm going to go check it out anyway, because what if it's the right space for a summer training? A big wedding barn? Maybe a nice location in Vermont that's in town for me? I'll check that out. Could be cool. So I'm going to do that next week. And maybe, maybe it's a better spot than I thought. And we'll go from there. People are discussing long-term relationships in the chat. Oh, Jenny, that's what the, Jenny, this is why we're friends. Jenny types, suddenly I heard a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber window. Wasn't quite that big of a crow. Uh, for those of you who don't who don't know, she's referencing um, Edgar Allan Poe's most famous poem, The Raven, which at one point, I don't think I ever knew the whole thing by heart, but yeah, it's dark and weird and, and interesting. I like The Raven. Um, he's got others. I mean, it, the, like the original Creepy. Jenny likes Poe. And Stacy says, quoth the Jeremy, nevermore. 
we we could if we had a bunch of production input on this right like if there was there was crew and and everything like you could dress me up as poe and that's how i could sign off the show one day but probably not gonna do that because again i don't think i want people in the house that early nor do i want to leave the house i don't see us ever recording the show ahead of time you know like all the late night shows do i don't see that happening no, things are turning on places Stacy says, Poe is the original goth guy. I would agree. Jenny's Halloween decorations are Poe themed. See, and now two more people in the chat are excited about something in common. And they're, they're finding things they have in common. I like it. I like it. Um, anything else? No. No, I think the only other thing that I'll share before we move on is at this meeting yesterday. Uh, this networking event, it was held at a local town hall, town office, which is, which shares a physical space with the local police department. And one of the police dogs came in with a toy and there was all this food set up on a table and this dog was tall enough and the table was low enough. It was perfectly eye level. And I watched the dog come in and make the rounds around the room. And then, oh, nobody's, nobody's uh, bothering me. So I'm going to go over to the food, looks at the food. And kind of like shifted the ball around a little bit like, mm, I want this food, but I would have to put the ball down. And you see it just kind of pause for a moment. And then, nope. And then just kind of like clamped down on the ball again and kept walking around. Like, I'm not willing to give up the ball for the food, which I thought was surprising. Brian's oldest son was named from that movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. I'm missing something. Which movie? Mm -hmm. Stacy says, Jenny, I wish you were closer. I do too. And now they're talking about kicking heads. Do any, have any of you seen the shirt that I made, Kick Heads Pet Dogs, that we sold exactly one copy to me? I'm sorry. One of a kind. All right, moving on. Oh, the oh, referencing the crow. Got it. Okay. Yes, that makes more sense. I didn't get it. I'm glad somebody got it. Uh, oh, shoot. I'm not fully prepared. Hold on. Frank sent stuff. I got to load it up. I didn't do that. I'm doing it now. Today marks the 34th anniversary of something. Do you know what it is? Dun, 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 dun. I don't know how Frank pulls all these up. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Come on. It's loading. It's loading. Today marks the 34th anniversary of Steven Seagal's Above the Law. Do you guys remember how big of a deal that movie was when it came out? Yeah. That's the one that we did the How to Fight, right? Yeah, we did a How to Fight Steven Seagal as whatever his character was in Above the Law. That was a fun one. Who do we do that with? I don't remember. I'm sad that I don't remember. Here are some trivia from imdb.com. Yep, we're doing this one. Nico Toscani. Thank you, Dennis. Save this. This is why all of the best live streams have like a recurring group of people who actually know what's going on because it allows the host to focus on things and just kind of like offload their brain. It's kind of like, kind of like Google, but people. 
So Steven Seagal's film debut, he also co-wrote and co-produced it. Uh, I think we talked about that. If you guys haven't checked out the How to Fight episodes, they're a lot of fun. We had a really good time doing them. And they're it's not that we're not doing them. It's that they're we are ra- we kind of raised the bar on when we would do them. They did not take off the way we wanted them to. So, um, you know, it's something that Andrew and I are constantly watching for. Like, what would be a good fit? Like, who would we want to bring back to do this? And... You know, maybe, maybe it's time to do another one, Andrew. If you if you see this, you know, maybe maybe we should. We've had a couple fun people on recently that have some name recognition, and that's one of the standards that we're looking at um, because they're they're resource intensive. You know, we don't we don't have we can't have everybody that's involved in doing this, especially me, spending hours pulling clips. Uh, It's a lot of work. After the film opened, Aikido experienced a boom worldwide. Steven Seagal's Los Angeles dojo was struggling before the movie. Afterward, sold out all its classes. <sighs> Aikido gets a bad rap, and I think that's really a shame. Because for what it is, it's wonderful. It is what it is meant to be. It is not meant to be the fastest path to street self-defense. And I think people, you know, I know all of you realize this, but that's not what martial arts necessarily is. If that's your goal, the fastest path to street ready self-defense, there are programs that will get you ready for that. If it's not, you gotta figure out what you want and why you want it, all that matters. When Daniel Feraldo auditioned for his role, Andrew Davis thought he was too small to intimidate Steven Seagal. Seagal suggested Feraldo try to scare him, so he tried to break a chair over Seagal's back. He got the part. (laughs) I love it. That's funny. Ah, the jokes! Frank says, Jeremy, you're being a silly head. You're supposed to do the jokes first. You're right. I am. Um, hold on. Well, we're just, we're mixing it up today, I guess. We're, we're a wee bit out of order. There we go. All right. Uh, loading, 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 loading. This week is coin week. Earlier in the week, Josh Blow mentioned coin throwing. For those of you who are interested, there is an excellent article on that subject in the May-June 2018 edition of Kung Fu Magazine. It is titled Kung Fu Currency, The Arcane Art of Chinese Coin Throwing by Peter Pena. Pena? Pena? I'm guessing Pena. And now the jokes for Fun Day Friday. Why should you never listen to coins? It never makes any sense. When receiving payment in gold coins, pirates used to verify their purity by biting into them. In other words... Criminals only accepting payment in Bitcoins goes a long way back. Ah, that's a good one. Just a heads up, if anybody ever wants to pay for anything for Whistlekick in in crypto, we can do that. You just need to talk to me. I'm not going to set up an automated thing for it. At least not at this point. Um, And because... You are all friends. I'm just going to offer the suggestion. It is worth learning about cryptocurrency. It's not as daunting as you think. And you should do it. I made little coins out of some Indian flatbread. I thought they were cool, but my mom said it was nothing but nonsense. (laughs) These are good, man. Nice job. How's that kid doing that swallowed all those coins? No change yet. I despise when homeless people shake their coin cups at me. Look, I get it. You have more money than me. No need to rub it in my face. (sighs) A soldier in World War II was shot, but coins in his pockets stopped the bullet. It was his life savings. I need like a little drum set. Or I could get like a soundboard and press a button for it. I invested in a coin making machine. It just made sense. 
this is this is true in in every way you could think of it. There's a coin shortage in America. They're officially out of common sense. Common sense isn't that common anymore. <sighs> Close that tab. Here we go. And we're back. What do you say about the coins you toss into a wishing well? Money well spent. I apologize for the coin shortage. I started a swear jar. See, now that could apply to me. I don't think that applies for Frank. I don't think I've ever heard Frank swear. Now, over on the Facebook group, I asked you to give yourselves, and, and I, I think I think we should do this for Fridays, and I would like your help reminding me on Thursdays, because I think you all know how my memory is from morning until, I don't know, 30 minutes later. Let's celebrate some wins. <laughs> Stacy has an an apology jar for unnecessary apologies. There's a plugin for Gmail for those of you that, that might be interested called Just Not Sorry. And it watches for language and underlines it for you kind of in the way Grammarly does if you're apologizing. It has completely changed the way I handle written communication. It's been wonderful. It's free. Just Not Sorry. It's a Gmail plugin. Get it. It's awesome. Jenny says, Stacy, I would go broke. All right, so we're celebrating some wins. What good stuff has happened to you or for you in the last little bit? Now, ideally, this is martial arts related, but if you don't have anything martial arts related, I'd still love to celebrate some things with you. So those of you who didn't answer in the chat or in, in Facebook, you are welcome to post in the chat and I'll read them. Tommy says, three weeks in a row, a record number of attendants for a traditional weapons class. That's great. Chris says, my spouse married me despite me not having a butt. I'm paraphrasing. But now after lots of leg work, I have glutes that can help hold up my pants. Um, that's funny, but I also get it. Dennis says, enjoyed an amazing vacation out west last week. Just the wife and me giving us a much needed opportunity to recharge and reset. Andrew says uh, two things. I get to meet Bill Superfoot Wallace for the first time tomorrow, which is today. And I also got a new gi for whistle kick stuff. Our school only allows all white uniforms. So I was excited to get a black, white, and blue gi, which he's having today for the weekend. Um, so there's a couple of fun things going on. We have a sample of another item that shipped yesterday. I'm super pumped about this one. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, let's see. It rides the line between training apparel and casual apparel. <gasps> Jeremy, what could that be? I will show you when it arrives. Uh, and um, we haven't finalized what it means yet, but I will tell you, we are going to do something special for those of you who are kind of inner circle whistle kick team members. Um, there's something I'm rolling around in my head. It's simple, but I think it's going to be really cool. Kelly says, school owners mastermind. It's been very informative and inspiring to collaborate with other like-minded school owners. Available only to those of you in the 50 and up $50 a month and up tiers in Patreon. Um, that school owners mastermind is awesome. In fact, at the meeting last night, I was talking with, um, uh, one of the members of the board of the Chamber of Commerce and, you know, talking about kind of this new direction, you know, if, if, if you, if you've been in business a long time, you know what Chambers of Commerce used to do and they're, they're like, they kind of need to retool. And I suggested, you know, I said, you know, a mastermind could be a wonderful way to pull people in, could be additional revenue, uh, could be a bunch of things. I said, if you need me to do a brain dump for you guys and get you started, I will happily do that. And Mark says lots of new friends. So what were your martial arts wins? What are we celebrating for you this week? Josh says, celebrating a week and a half to get my buttocks up at 6 a.m. to work out and say hi to y'all. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, J 
Jenny says, Matt, my oldest son, Cade, had a great training session on Tuesday night. They're planning to make it a regular thing. This also brings me great joy. Nice. Anybody else? What else you got? I like this stuff. You guys have been more active in responding to the Facebook questions and, and that I put up. And I think it's because I'm probably posting better ones, but you're also doing your part. So thanks. Because I this show should not be one directional, right? It should be it should be synergistic. There's a good word for you for Friday morning. Oh, coffee. <sighs> Full caffeine. Yeah. Anybody else? Going, 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 going. Andrew and I will be finalizing. Mm, that's a little too formal. Andrew and I will be working some additional details for All In Weekend for next weekend because this will be the first time we get together physically. So there's some stuff that we're going to run through that I'm super pumped about. Those of you who are coming to All In Weekend, I think, knock on wood, I think for a first year event, we are knocking it out of the park. I really do. I think we've taken everything that we've learned from pre-training days and the other things that we've done. And I think, I think this is going to be something... You know the saying, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts? I think that's what we've done with this. And I think I think we're on to something. My long-term vision is that we have a bunch of free training days. And in those, in many of those locations, it leads into all-in weekends. It does mean that eventually all-in weekend will have to be, you know, I'm not going to be at all of them likely because i'd like to have enough of them you know what what would the, what would it look like if there were if there if there were free training days every weekend globally how cool would that be i'm not gonna be able to make it to all of them those of you that are aware of what spartan race did with getting those events going that's kind of the model like they've got a ton of them going and they lead into other things and that's kind of where i want to go with it because if you've been to free training day, you understand. Oh, super cool. Frank says, I bought a coin pouch that attaches to your belt and doubles as a blackjack. I would love to see a picture of that. Can you send me with that, Frank? That's really interesting. Dennis says, martial arts wise, another tremendous session with Superfoot on Wednesday night, focused on reinvesting in the basics. Nice. Josh says, I think you need a shirt, Jeremy. This is going full caffeine this morning. We have not done a first cup shirt, but if we were to do a first cup shirt, maybe that would be it. I, I can I can see something with that. Frank, we should talk about that. We, we, we have to have another call anyway soon. Uh, let's talk about that next time we get on the phone. Anybody else? Anybody else? So just a reminder, uh, please, please, please make a Twitch account. Follow Whistlekick. Most of you are not. Need your help. Please, please. Um, yeah. What else am I reminding you of? You know what? Hang tight right there. I'm going to show you something. I'm just going to the other room. I'm coming back. I promise. I want you to see this. Coming back. I'm almost there. I'm right here. I promise. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. All right. So, um, uh, most of you know about the dragon hoodies. I wore one of the two that I have much of the winter. Well, when we closed up the official colors, I said, let's do choose your own colors. Pick two colors. The first one was ordered a few weeks ago, and it's actually someone who's going to be at the symposium this weekend. And they said, hey, can you rush this? I would really love to have it for the weekend. Like, this is a big event, and the person kind of wants to, you know, show off. And I was, this is someone who's been very, very supportive. And I said, sure. Uh, and they were they were throwing money. They're like, how, how much do I need to pay to 
to rush it. You know, I, I said, I, I can't promise we'll have it in time. It showed up yesterday. And I wanted to show you because these were the colors they picked. And it's not a color combination I would have picked, but it came out amazing. Red background with a white dragon, and it looks awesome. So for those of you who have looked at the dragon hoodies, being able to throw your own colors on it. Like I'm thinking of doing another one that's that's two dark colors, you know, black and and like a mid gray or something. I think would look really cool. This this is the coolest item we've ever done and it has completely changed the way I look at our apparel. So, um I don't name names of people who buy things. It's none of you, uh but just throwing it out there. Think about what you wear. Think about like your school colors or something like you know, people are saying, wow, wow. It, it, it looks, doesn't it look really good? I think it looks awesome. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's available. And I don't know how long we're going to leave that up. But um, let's just say that we've got a ton of cool stuff that's in development right now. We're working on, we're working on a tank top. Um, yeah, just the, de the designer that I found, we work so well together. He's, he's stylistically, I like him. He's, he's a good communicator and he's able to understand what I need and he doesn't mind that we do a bunch of revisions. Like he'll throw things against the wall and I'm like, uh, that's the right direction. Let's follow this one. And so we work on that. He, he does a couple versions of that. I send that one and we just kind of chip away. And the thing that shipped yesterday, I'm almost as excited about as I am the hoodie. Not quite, because the hoodie, the hoodie's next level, right? But everything else, this this tops it. Kelly says, tank top, I definitely do. I'm not a hoodie person. Stacy says, leave it up through June. You're on the horizon. Absolutely. Brian says, I have a shirt that is dark gray with a black silhouette of Vader. You can see in the right light would rock on the dragon hoodie. Nice. Nice. Um, so, yeah, if anybody wants to, to think about colors, you know, we can work together. I, can, I will send you a mock-up, right? Like, it's not like you place the order and you pick two colors and you don't get to see what it looks like. You, that's why we're charging $10 more on it because I've got to do a bunch of work on it. Like we're sending emails back and forth. So you order, you tell me roughly what colors you want. I send you a mock-up just as you can see mock-ups of everything else. And I think the first color we did, the first version of this that I did for this customer, um, they wrote back and they said that wasn't quite the red that I wanted. I picked a darker red. And I said, can you send me a picture of something that has the red you want and I'll grab it and we can see what it looks like. So they did and I did and they were like, that's it. Yes. I love it. And yeah, you can see it came out so cool. Like I'm, I'm jealous of this color combo. I just, it's going to, it's going to pop. Like it's going to pop on them. Um, I can't fit into it. It's, it's a size too small, but if it was a size bigger, I might've worn it. But I, I wouldn't actually do that with customer stuff, but I would have really been tempted. I know I won't be able to take it off. Um, Kelly says glow in the dark dragon. Yeah, there you go. Uh, your discount code still apply to that too. So don't forget, uh, fry a mug, $5 swag pack. You are welcome to use the 15% off discount. First cup one, five on the $5 swag pack. Totally fine. In fact, you might want to order the swag pack, see what kind of discount comes in. Use that discount on getting a dragon hoodie. We lose a little bit of money on the swag pack. That's okay. Because it gets you into the system and gives you fun stuff that you're probably going to put on things, stickers and pins and other cool stuff like that. What's in it? I'm not going to tell you because it's going to change. And you don't lose money. Oh. Constantly looking for ways where everybody wins. That's my business model. All right, I got to go.
I got I got a call with one of you soon. I got to pack up more stuff. Get ready for a super fun and probably not sleep filled weekend, but that's okay. And yeah, I'll see you back here on Monday. Stacy says totally not using the 15% on the swag pack. Some of you have, that's okay. Uh, what does that amount to? 75 cents. It's fine. If you want to, you're welcome to, if you don't want to, you're also welcome not to. A few things to keep in mind. Yeah, so you've got the discount code FIRSTCUP15 for anything at whistlekick.com, including the training programs, which uh, we have a plan for taking Flex, the free one, to version two. It's going to be a couple months before that's done, but once we do that one and that goes to the next level, we will go back through and we'll take the others up to version two. Better videos, better visuals. Um, the core of the program is, is the same, but we're going to make it fancier, nicer, and better. Um, Patreon, patreon.com slash whistlekick. It's a place to go for that. And if you want the whole list, all the things, all the cool things that you can do, I updated the family page. I think it was yesterday, whistlekick.com slash family. You won't find a link for it because if you really want all the best stuff, I want you to do a little bit of work for it. Okay. If you have questions or comments, we've got the Facebook page, facebook.com slash first cup with Jeremy. If you don't do Facebook, that's okay. You can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. We do the show live every weekday, 6.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. We're creeping up on episode 1,000. How crazy is that? Some of you have been around since the beginning, and I think that's awesome. You can also catch it later. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitch. Uh, there's an audio version that comes out. However you want to watch or listen is fine by me. I appreciate all of you for joining me. And we're switching back to comments. Everybody's saying, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. I hope you do have a great weekend. I'm going to have a great weekend. And I'm going to see you back here on Monday. So take care. Peace.